In this video, I'm going to show you how to analyze a stock in just one minute using AI. So for this exercise, we're going to try out on Walt Disney and ask the AI to churn out a detailed investment thesis just like how an analyst would do it. And yes, I'm going to share my screen so you can see exactly how it works. But before that, if you haven't done so, do join my free weekly newsletter where you will get dips on the US and Singapore stock markets, stock ideas, analyst reports, and many more. You can find the link down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's jump back to the video. Honestly, if you were to ask me, right, initially I wanted to compare how DeepSeek uh, versus ChatGPT would turn out in terms of the stock analysis. However, at the time of doing this video, DeepSeek is actually having some bad rapport with the governments around the world, uh, be it in the US government or the Australian government. As such, I decided to just skip DeepSeek. I don't know how it will turn out, right? And uh, I just focus on open AI. So stay tuned uh, for the whole prompt that you can use in ChatGPT. To stock analysis, there are a few things we often look at. Okay, for fundamental analysis, we will look at the business segments, okay, understanding of the company profile, how each business segment will work, what is their competitive landscape, the economic mode of the company, financial analysis, like things like revenue, uh, earnings, growth, their key valuation multiples, like for example, PE ratio, and also like maybe the industry landscape, okay, uh, whether there are any relevant industry trends. For example, semiconductor, their trend is uh, enormous, right? Uh, in the past few years, or uh, comparing to maybe oil and gas, which is cyclical and things like that. And the other thing is catalyst. So are there any growth catalysts that will drive the stock performance? Any risks involved that we need to take note of? Regulatory risks are very important and often overlooked okay, in this era. So you need to pay more attention to that. And finally, the recommendation, whether is it a buy, hold or sell call. Okay? And more importantly, I feel that in the past, without this kind of a reasoning model, which ChatGPT just recently launched to compete with DeepSeek, right? In the past, it's always been uh, like maybe just chunks of information. It's nothing, um, you know, like it's not like a very concise report, structured like a very professional analyst report with the clear sections and the kind of uh, insights that we want. It's more like, oh, uh, Catalyst, just Catalyst itself. And we cannot really form up a whole nice report. But with this kind of a new AI model coming up, we are able to get mind-blowing results. So let me just show you how it looks like over here. Okay, so I have uh, I am a paying subscriber for ChatGPT, so I'm not sure whether this will not work for free subscribers. But, okay, uh, just from my own account, this is what I get. Okay, so I have uh, done an uh, investment thesis on Walt Disney. So this is the executive summary followed by the business analysis, studios, entertainment, direct to consumer, experiences like their theme parks, cruise ships. Uh, okay, going next one is their economic mode, right? They have the very strong pricing power and their iconic brands and IP, financial analysis, and so on and so forth, okay? So you can see that it's all very detailed. They've even um, lay out things like Mona 2, anticipated releases, uh, you know, subscriber gains for Disney Plus. So many things, right? This will require tons of time and effort required to even come up with something like this. The best part of all, I just need to change the company name, the stock name, to something of a different genre, of a different industry, 
and the AI will still work for me, okay? For example, over here, I have Maple Tree Industrial Trust. It's a Singapore read, okay? And uh, just take a look at what uh, the AI has generated for me, right? So over here, they mentioned about the executive summary, how the evaluations analysis give a net asset value, NAV, of 1.72. So it's attractively valued and they recommend a buy, okay? So this is given by the AI based on whatever they have uh, pieced together. But the more uh, important part is how they go into the research and analysis of the different sections. So for example, under the business analysis, we have the core segments, uh, the economic mode, okay, strategic location, very true. Uh, Long-term lease structures, also good. Active asset management, also on point, right? What is the historical financial performance? So they are all able to get it, even just scraping the Maple Tree website itself, okay? Uh, and there are key valuation multiples. So if you were to just plug from analyst report, maybe you will be only looking at NEF, uh, price to NEF. But over here, you are even looking at you know things like leverage, interest coverage, um, FFO, and so on and so forth. So many things with just changing a company name. All in all, AI is definitely a game changer when it comes to stock analysis. Imagine saving so much time, getting a report nicely done for you with just the right AI prompt. So wait no longer, sign up for my newsletter and join over 9,000 plus of my other members and get this AI prompt for free.